This is the 2018 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12, problem number 22. M and N are the roots of the equation x squared minus x minus 2018 is equal to 0. What is the value of N squared plus M? A, 2016, B, 2017, C, 2018, D, 2019, or E, 2020. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. Let's start by looking at the general equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 with roots x1 and x2. We know by Vieta's formulas that the sum of the roots x1 plus x2 must be equal to negative b over a. So we take this number and take the negative of it and then put it over this number, a. And this, the product of the roots, x1 times x2, is equal to c over a. So c over a. We can apply these formulas to the equation given to us in the problem x squared minus x minus 2018 is equal to 0. And we can find out, because we know that m and n are the roots of the equation, we can find out that m plus n, the sum of the roots, must be equal to 1, because we take negative b, and in this case, b is negative 1, so negative negative 1 is positive 1, over a, which we know is 1, because we have 1x squared. And that's equal to 1. And then we have the product of the roots. m times n must be equal to c, which is negative 2018, over a, which again we know it's 1. So the product of the roots must be negative 2018. Now, because we know that n is a solution to the equation, if it's a solution to this equation, that means that if we plug in n for x, we should get 0, right? Because it's a root. So n squared minus n minus 2018 is equal to 0. Let's add n to both sides and get n squared equals n plus 2018. And again, we're doing this because we know we're looking for n squared plus n. So we're trying to get, um, trying to figure out what that is. So now we can see that we can add m to both sides, and now we've got, we've isolated what it is we're looking for, n squared plus m, we know is equal to n plus 2018 plus m. All we did in that step was add m to both sides. Now we already know from over here that m plus n, the sum of the roots, must be equal to 1. And guess what? We see it over here again, m and n. So we should be able to replace m plus n with 1. So now we know that n squared plus m is equal to 2018, we already had that, plus the 1. And again, 1 is m plus n, the sum of the roots. So that means that n squared plus m, which again is what we're looking for, must be equal to 2019. This is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and like this video if it was helpful.